Hi, in this video I'll be sharing some tips on how to draw a bicycle. Just want to make clear that I'm not an expert drawing bicycles, I just want to share some tips. So here we go! So let's start from the beginning. As you can see, I'm starting to draw the bicycle from the top. And when I finished drawing this bicycle, I actually realized that this was probably a mistake. And the reason why this is a mistake is because I think you should start drawing the wheels first. Because if you draw the wheels first, which are the most difficult part, I think, then the rest is easier to fit to the wheels. So I think it's easier to fit the frame of the bicycle to the wheels and not otherwise. And let me explain you why. Let's take a look at the final sketch, how it looks then you can see that I'm trying to accommodate the wheels to kind of look in the right perspective and also to fit into the frame, which is not a good idea. You end up having this problem that in order for the wheels to fit the frame, you will have to move, move the wheels into a position that they might not be uh, what you actually see on the reference image. So what I would recommend is to start from the wheel first. Now, let's talk about one thing that if you look at the bicycle here, I'm moving the front f uh, part of the bicycle, meaning the handwear and the uh, bicycle fork, I'm moving them backwards because they are a little bit uh, too far away from the from the seat. And this is a problem relating to negative space. And we're gonna be talking about a little bit about negative space and why it's important to have it in mind when you're drawing a bicycle, especially when the bicycle is in this foreshortened position. I think having a clear understanding of negative space will help you draw it on these difficult positions that are not orthographic views they're because they have more perspective so when you have a drawing that is for short in it i mean this have this very pronounced perspective i think that Having a clear notion, a clear understanding of negative space can help you handle this drawing correctly. And this is something that I did not apply when I was drawing this bicycle. So if we look at the definition of negative space, negative space in art is the empty space around and between the subject of an image. So all these holes right here are negative space. And if you can look at the reference image here, the hole in between the wheels is actually smaller than the space in between the wheels I draw. Meaning that if I notice this at the beginning, I would probably draw the wheels closer to each other and not like I did. That's why I had to say that it is better to start drawing the wheels first. Because if you know how the wheels are placed, then it's easier to draw the rest of the bicycle. Okay, another thing that I want you to notice is that if you see the bicycle fork, the end of the bicycle fork, meaning the part where the axle goes, the axle part is not placed exactly at the middle of the ellipse of the wheel. It's actually a little bit closer to the left of the ellipse rather than in the center of the ellipse. At first I thought it was a mistake, but the perspective that we're drawing this bicycle in, the axle is not right at the middle of the ellipse, it's actually more towards the left. And the same happens in the back wheel. So this could be another tip. The connection between the frame and the wheel does not necessarily happen right at the center of the wheel when the bike is wrong in perspective. Another tip regarding the drawing of the wheels because I think the wheels are the most difficult part of the bicycle. I think one uh, tip to make them look better uh, in this style of uh, illustration is not to focus too much on the rim. Actually, I would draw the rim as lightly as I could 
even without finishing you see like here the lines i put are not conti a continuous line i actually draw them as like like a sketch kind of thing but not as a continuous line on the other hand the tires i would draw the tires with a continuous line i would make the focus on the tire and not on the rim in fact i'm gonna show you an example of another bike that i did in which i draw both the rim and the tire of the wheel i draw them with the same thickness of line and same line style and it, it didn't end up looking right actually let me show you and you will understand what i mean okay here's the wheel so i think that's uh that's something that i learned okay so uh, here you can see that my, I, when i'm painting it i just paint the black part of the wheel the, i mean the tire and the rim is almost as if it is there but we don't make so much emphasis on it because uh, we want the eye to focus on the tire okay let me explain where i got this idea of the rim so i i, I draw the the bicycle wheels and they look quite bad actually i have to admit so I decided to look at one of my favorite artists, it's called Kim jong gi and I see how he draws the bicycle. And I could see, in, like for example in this image that I got from the internet, that the rims, it's not that he doesn't draw them, of course he draws them, but it's not that he doesn't make as much emphasis on them as he makes on the tire of the wheel. It's almost like the lines of the rims are a little bit more fainted than the, than the tire. Of course, uh, these are just personal notes that I take. They are by no means a, a rule that you should follow. If you have a better rule, please let me know on the comments because uh, we, the reason that I made this video is first to share my things that I learned for myself, but I would like to have this as an open discussion. discussion. So if you have a better idea on how to actually draw the wheels, please sharing, uh, share them on the comments. It would be very interesting. And actually something that I am seeing right now here is that in his drawing he adds a shadow to the back of the rim and on the front of the wheel he adds like a like a lightning yes like a reflection i don't know how to call it and that could be another tip when you're drawing these bikes from this perspective you can add a shadow to the inner part of the rim at the back maybe a little highlight on the tire at the front maybe this could improve finally he said you can actually see here in the drawing then this that the spokes of the wheels he also wrote, uh, draws them very faintly like and he doesn't draw all of them he just draw a few of them and that's enough to show the 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 viewer that there are some spokes out there in my bicycle i didn't draw the spokes and i've seen that in other example of his yeah like this one he actually didn't draw the spokes and the bicycle still looks fine so it's up to you if you want to draw the spokes you don't need to draw them all you can draw just draw a few of them and that's all for this video remember to let me know in the comments uh, if you have other ways of drawing the the bicycle and these are some things that i have been learning so far and i'm glad to share with you so see you on another video